Good afternoon. Um, I have finished yesterday's task of the 273 in E minor. Um, took quite a long time. The reason being uh, that score has so much, so much detail in it uh, that it uh, just takes a, a long time to get through. There's a huge, huge amount of detail, not only um, in the sort of bowing techniques or the slurrings, but also um, the, I've rarely seen a manuscript by Vivaldi that's so um, detailed in terms of its use of dynamics. So for instance, the last movement, he, he starts uh, piano molto, and then you have markings like, uh, like here, um, he's written on poco forte, um, which is, uh, and then you, uh, after that you get pianissimo in the solo part, pianissimo in the, in the accompaniment, then forte and forte, I mean it's, it's so, so detailed. Um, one of the interesting things, uh, particularly in the last movement, is that um, he uh, writes at the beginning of the movement, which starts in piano, he, he writes senza cembali, uh, which means without heart chords, uh, which is one of my reasons for thinking it's probably a theatrical concerto. Um, but then, despite his marking sense of Cembali, he then figures the bass part, which is quite, um, quite unusual. Um, every time in La Serenissima, where we have, we come across one of these uh, concertos that has a sense of Cembali marking, there's always, we always ask the question, does, does he mean harpsichords or does, uh, does he mean theorbos as well? Does he mean all the sort of um, the har harmonic instruments uh, that play in the bass? Um, so one would suppose from this concerto, therefore, that you can make a case for saying that uh, theorbos or um, arch loops, if you like, or even guitars, could maybe play in a in a bass part where he has written Senza Cembali. Anyway, uh, 273 is done. Uh, I think that gets an aid rating of eight and a half. It's a very, very good piece. Uh, and today we're moving on to uh, RV282 in F major. This is um, an int another uh, manuscript from the uh, Turin collection. Uh, this time, um, this particular concerto features in a volume which is principally made up of Vivaldi's sacred music. Um, if you look at some of the concerti that go with uh, in this volume, one could possibly um, argue that they were also uh, written for sacred occasions. But this one um, already, I mean, with the, the amount of sort of fiddly... Uh, dynamics that he that he uses I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking this is a, again possibly a theatrical concerto um, uh, certainly not all of the concertos were um, uh, used in this volume were used for sacred occasions because this volume also contains the very strange conca concerto which uh, emulates the blowing of conch shells by uh, by Tritons, uh, which is not very sacred really, is it? Uh, anyway, um, I've been told to keep this video short today um, because apparently apparently I've drone on a bit. Yeah, what, the wife's always telling me that. Um, but um, anyway, um, here's a quick blast of 282. So um, here we go. Hope you enjoy the beautiful tone of my computer. There you go, uh, 282, that's today's task. Um, in response to Vlad, who said that uh, on a, uh, my, our daughter, who appeared in a video a couple of days ago, he said uh, that it looks as though she'd heard it all before. Well, actually, uh, one of her godfathers did give her an RV catalogue for her first birthday. So yeah, she, she knows a lot about Vivaldi already. Anyway, uh, see you tomorrow, cheers.